Texas tonight. As we speak, teams from FEMA are on the ground in East Texas surveying the damage from round after round of severe weather. So far, 35 Texas counties are listed in a federal disaster declaration, including seven in East Texas. This means people living in the counties on your screen are now eligible to apply for federal aid. Second by Commissioner Moore. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. With that, the Smith County Commissioner's Court amended a disaster declaration that had originally been issued for storms in late May, now modified to include the most recent round of destructive weather. As of Monday, 511 people had reported damages and asked for assistance by filling out the TDEM, that Division of Emergency Management's form uh, online. Using reports gathered so far through the state's online reporting system, FEMA teams are now in Smith County to see who qualifies for federal assistance. A lot of people have had Red Cross come by and assess, the, are, are looking at things, but now you'll see these FEMA teams come by. Uh, they're going to have on FEMA badges, so when they knock on your door, you don't really need to be alarmed. You can, you can speak with them. They're there to help you register and make sure that you qualify for assistance. Among the things FEMA could help with, displacement, rental, and transportation assistance, plus home repairs and medical needs. Along with door-to-door -door visits, the county is also working to establish a center for FEMA to set up shop so people can come to them. It's not just as simple as you call FEMA and they give you money. Uh, quite the opposite. Okay. FEMA says you should always begin with your insurance provider because they can't duplicate aid provided from another source. But if your insurance leaves certain needs unmet, you could still qualify. Now, after you apply for help, FEMA may need to conduct a home inspection, which focuses in on questions like, is your house habitable and safe? And does the power, the gas, the heat and plumbing function properly? Just some of the things used to decide whether or not you're eligible for help from the federal government. Now to report storm damage, scan the QR code on your screen or click on the big red box at KLTV.com. This is how FEMA is determining where to send their teams.